Eleazar and his merry band of retreating misfits, they recovered. They recovered. What did they recover? <laughs> and I got to be honest with you, if I'm Eleazar, my hand's still frozen on the sword. I'm beat. I'm, I need a nap. And I turn around, and here come all the guys. Hey! What's up? Wow, look at all the dead people. Nice job, E. E, that's short for Elliot. <laughs> Work with me, okay? I'm 55 trying to be cool. It's not easy, all right? And, and look what they do in verse 10. Verse 10 it says this, uh, the Lord brought about a great victory that day. The troops returned <laughs> to Eleazar, but only to strip the dead. I got to be honest with you, sometimes you're going to be surrounded by some people in your battle that will only come back when times are really good. It's going to happen. But I'm thankful that Eleazar didn't grab his sword and say, oh, 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 you want to strip the dead? How about you be the dead? No, he didn't do that. We don't even hear that Eleazar said, where have you been? I was fighting this battle. This was tough. Look at my hand. I can't get this sword off my hand. And now you're back when they're all dead? And not only that, you're back to take their wallet and their watch and their iPhone? I modernized the story a little. Seriously, guys? I didn't hear that. Sometimes other people will reap the benefits of your work. Some people will want to be around only when it's comfortable. This wasn't in my notes, so I don't know who this is for, but somebody might be struggling with this today. So hear me today, okay? You may struggle with the fact that the only time certain people show up is when it's easy. They don't want to fight with you, Eleazar. They want to come back when there's bloody carcasses that won't fight them back. They, they, they just want to say, I'm busy. I, I, I don't have time for this, Eleazar. I'm sorry. You're going to have to go throughout this alone. And God brings about the victory. Oh, look who's here. Eleazar, you're going to have to check yourself there. Because you're not in control. I said, you're not in control. God is the one who's in control. So God brought the victory, and God even allowed these people to come back and this was a this was a typical thing of war by the way you beat the army you take their sword you take their gear you take whatever they got and that is yours it's the spoils of war that old saying but i do want to ask a question eleazar what is the enemy of your soul taken from you Maybe for you, he's taken your happiness, your joy. Used to be there, but the enemy has taken it. Maybe for you, your, your fulfillment in life used to be there. It's not there now. Your security, maybe your identity your future, we've talked about the future a lot today. Your peace, your relationships, your own personal walk with God. What has the enemy taken from you? Perhaps God has placed you in the position of some imperfect warriors, some imperfect followers of God, who maybe haven't gotten it right all the time. Kind of like these soldiers who retreated. And maybe that's been you. You've not been the great Eleazar. You've been one of those that, mm, but now you're at a point 
or there's victory in front of you. And this is the time for you to take back what the enemy has stolen from you. I'll take that happiness back. Thank you very much. I'll take my identity, my identity back. Thank you very much. I'll take my past and I'll surrender it to God and we're not going to deal with it anymore. Thank you very much. I will take that relationship that's been broken down. I'll take that back. I will take my peace. I will take my future. You are not allowed to have that enemy of my soul. The devil is not entitled to those things. And I believe that the children of God, whether we've been fighting like Eleazar or maybe we've not always got it right, but the children of God need to say, this has been stolen from me and I need to take it back. 1 Peter chapter 5, verses 10 and 11. In fact, this is going to be on a future episode of our five minutes with Phil devotions. I love these verses. It says, And the God of all grace who called you to his eternal glory in Christ, after you've suffered a little while, will himself restore you and make you strong, firm, and steadfast. To him be the power forever and ever. Amen. My God is a restoring God. Um, and though the enemy comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy, Jesus has come to give me life, and life more abundantly. What has the devil taken from you? Take it back.